Hey guys, in the last video, we saw that that how to add a footer inside our portal. And in this video, we are going to see that how we can add a simple navigation menu and action. And again, all the steps are same. We have to add a new UX page property. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new UX page property. And this property name is Chrome underscore menu. Again, the type is JSON. And again, it takes a JSON value, which I have written here already created. I'll just copy and paste it here. Yeah, uh, I'll take a moment here. So see, that's a beauty of uh, the components based architecture, right? Where every component uh, takes uh, their own properties uh, in a JSON file and then components just enter it, right? In this example, if you just open it in a night JSON editor, you would see if you compare it with the results we get, it's, it's pretty uh, sleek and uh, it's like, it's pretty simple as well to explain to understand and to whoever is authoring the menu it's it's really easy so that's that's the beauty of this component architecture absolutely all these things are self-explanatory so what we're gonna do is that we have already added it we have saved it now let's let's try it in our browser so you see that uh, we, we will just have a quick comparison that it's a knowledge here and in this one we have just given it's an array of json so in this one we have given a value and with message knowledge message is nothing it's just the label that we want to show and if i click oh, on Akash, this one, do you mind do you mind change that to uh if you go back mm -hmm. to that json editor or there is an option to change it to tree can you just put it to tree okay. structure oh, okay yeah yeah Okay. So basically it says it has an error, right? And it has just one element because we just have one menu added to our navigation, right? Now, if you go to the value, if you open, yeah, a label, yeah, see that's where your knowledge comes in. You say, okay, this is what the menu looks like. And then it has two children. Now, if you go back uh, to our portal, uh, it, it basically what when it says children, it says first section is your uh, menu items and the other section is your actions, right? So report an issue is under the action section section and top part is under the items, I guess, item section. So that's what it is. Absolutely. And if you, if you match all these things, uh, you can quickly create any other things that you want. And this is how easy we can create menu. I know that uh, at a starting, this uh, JSON world looks uh, quite complex that why we have why it has been done in this way. But again, we have to understand the components. These are all the configuration properties of components that we can utilize the out of box configuration of those components. Correct. And, and the links for, uh, for those navigation could be your route, your existing route from your page. And uh, it could be an external link as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, right now, if you see all those uh, navigations are of type uh, route, if you see line number 54 here, yeah yeah right instead of that if you want let's say to open let's say servicenow.com or let's say google.com you can just say type is external and uh, you can just uh, use value uh, and then value would have a, a hr or href element and you can just give the link there so that's what it is that simple but you can see this uh, snippet uh, in the in the blog as well so yeah, yeah, in the blog, we have already added that uh, external link as well that uh, you can use it. But here in this demo, we just going to see that how we have added all these things. And most of the things are having links. So if you click, they might not work because we have not uh, created those routes yet. Correct. Okay. So folks, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed this one. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you.